when it comes to pre-spawn bass fishing, boy, oh boy. I mean, I'm, I'm like everybody else. I started thinking about chatter baits, chatter bugs, rattle traps, jerk baits, and spinner baits, and all sorts of horizontal presentations for the aggressive bite. Singles turn on Coons Lake, Northern Indiana, biting the baby one minus man's. Here we are, it's April 11th, the Hunter Fish one-on-one -on -one bass circuit. This little cute guy's gonna go back. We can hunt him down another day. It is pre-spawn to full effect. Water temperature is 56 degrees. You can see on the screen, yeah, it's drizzly because it's Hunter Fish. The weather always stinks, but we're gonna catch a bunch of bass. Yeah, I don't think I gotta keep it here, but it is a good sign. Hit it really hard. 9K Elite Lures Chatterbug. Well, how do you, I tell you what, I don't see that very often, do you? Have you ever seen that before? I think he hit it, I set the hook. <laughs> well, you saw it. Yeah. I think I think I might have number two. I might. On Chadbug. But to be truthful, that is not always the case. It is often. Hey, it is. That's that's what we think of pre-spawn for a good reason. But that is not always the case. Case in point today on a little tournament in Coots Lake, Indiana. I thought it was gonna be a slob fest with these horizontal presentations, especially the Chatterbug or a little tiny crankbait. <laughs> Boy, was I mistaken. You gotta start thinking finesse. No different than you would in the summertime. The power fishing tactics aren't paying off, then think finesse. And that's exactly what I did today. I went finesse with this little trick worm, real shallow water, one to two feet, and any kind of weeds I could find. week. Ah, I'm all excited. Well, it feels like I broke my ankle on that, though. So I always throw something out there when I'm taking a break for a little lunch break or, or you know, do a little pee-pee. Maybe. <laughs> I doubt it. Way today's gone, everything's short. 
There it is, man. Bye, catch me. I think I think I got a keeper. I don't know how well you can tell, but I'm fishing in front of a channel. And uh, there's these fish. I'm, there's a little weed bed out there. And get that back out there. And they're just, I think I'm getting them on the way in there. It's a very slow finesse deal. Just wait for those fish to swim up up on that little weed bed. I'm seeing them on the perspective. I'm just wacky rigging that thing and working it real slow. I probably caught close to 30 bass, but despite the tough bite, I was still able to boat a lot of fish and have a great day. I broke off earlier and my hook's in his throat. So I just caught the fish that broke off, broke me off earlier. I think I gotta keep it number four if I can land it. Yeah, come right off that dock out there. Okay. Yeah, I might not keep after all. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Thought I was gonna get another keeper. But it doesn't look like it now. He's, he might make it, we'll let you know. Oh yeah. It's a good sign. Good sign here. Keep, but it's a good sign. I want a new little weed bed out here. There aren't many weeds out here. But, uh, and uh, immediately get catch one like that. That's a great sign. I need one more keeper. One of these days where it's such a tough bite, it might only take a limit to catch a fish. Top four getting paid out today. I got four keepers. Everybody I talk to has got the same gripe that I have about how tough it is. And, uh, it's a little finesse worm. I know a lot of, not many people are doing it, so it might be real. Okay. Fingers across! How about that? Now I think I got number five hooked up. Sure I do. If I can get him in the boat, maybe I can do better. Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, it took to the very end of the day. It ain't hooked by much, but I finally got my five pre spawn bass fishing. I didn't catch a ton of keepers. I certainly didn't catch any big ones. I doubt I'm gonna win any money in this tournament. We're gonna go weigh them in and find out.